Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you all having a good day. I wanted to show you really quick what trees are producing right now fruit. Um, and it's almost Christmas time right now. So hopefully that would also give you some ideas if you already didn't plant them, that you can have the same exact fruits. And we are in December. The trees that it producing almost year round, I would say nearly year round, is the, the guava. So this is a good tree to have because you can have fruits throughout the year. See, it is the jujube. You can see that in the middle of the picture, in the middle of the video, there is the green jujube. Our fruit is also a great one for this time of the year when there is uh, no mangoes. And uh, this one is all getting ready with more and more fruit. So this is the first year that finally started to bear more or started to bear really so it's exciting to have fruit when there is not a lot of other fruits and of course let's not forget the bananas those are also really good one good plants to have because they bear nearly year round also and so many coming in Right now you can see here also over the fence, this one also. These are not huge racks, the, old, uh, the new ones that came out, but it's nice that they try. Granites also ripening, they will take a lot longer. We're waiting on these to ripen. I love egg fruit. And my ultimate favorite in the garden, it is the Barbados cherry. You can see this tree uh, bears nearly year round. We are almost at Christmas time and it's still packed and every single day I can pick for our family, for the babies. They love, love these cherries. If you have a chance, plant this tree. Plant it in a sunny side, give it some water, feed it, and you're gonna be so happy. It's a very healthy cherry tree. Of course, the papaya is also producing year round. From my experience, also producing nearly year round. Plantain coming up. Plantain flowers. And Jamaican cherries. They are also producing almost throughout the year. So it's a really good tree to have to snack on. <laughs> and the yellow passion fruit is perfect at this time of the year. And you can see when it's ready it just drops on the ground and the last i will show that one is the anona reticulata or caster depot and i'm so waiting on that one to taste it that's the san pablo variety i never tasted it i did taste caster depot and i enjoyed it and i want to taste that one hopefully um, i can bag it up today and i do this high shadow <laughs> I do this because um, uh, of the Anona seed borer. I don't know if we have it in this area, but I don't want to take any chance and um, want to do this. I want to bag it up. So let's do it. <laughs> it's getting a lot bigger and changed colors too. Might be already too late, but I will definitely give a chance. And I will use, I ordered this one from Amazon. It's some organza bags. And I will use these. You can see, I will use these. And I use the same bags and I actually double bag them for the guavas.
and this is how it looks like. I didn't push it too hard here on the stem just in case so I'm not I don't want to hurt it. But look at look at the woodpecker. Forgot to mention because there is no fruit on it yet. But it's a really good fruit tree to have also if you want fruit at this time of the year. It is the chocolate pudding fruit tree and uh, it's you can see the shiny green leaves it's a beautiful tree it's a beautiful specimen I think you can see it to the right from the banana plant and uh, that one is about two years old maybe from seed and you can see I topped it because I wanted to I want to uh, grow it more like uh, bushier instead of very very tall so it's gonna be easier to reach the fruits on that one I will make a taste test because uh, one of my fruit growing friend shared some fruit so I will taste it in the next couple of days if you enjoyed this video make sure to push a thumbs up and subscribe if you already not share with friends and plant a lot more trees you guys see you later bye